Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Elementor Builder video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting this little site here together with the Elementor Builder, and so far I'm pretty impressed with it. So let's continue our build. The last time we put in this sort of mock parallax section with the hover overlay. So let's go ahead and edit with Elemental. Scroll down to where we left off and let's add perhaps a project section or a gallery section. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. And again, I'll use a full width one for this. And uh, let's hit the little matrix there and go to our widgets. And what should we add? Let's, yeah, let's try an image gallery. Put them inside there. Actually, before I do that, I think I want to put a header in there. So let's go back to our widgets, grab the header. I want to put it above it there. There we go. And let's go in and say some of our recent projects, or recent projects. And let's have that aligned. Centrally, it wants to be a lot bigger than that. I want it to be the same blue as we've got going on here. That was. Let's see what color we did this here. I'll just copy that color there. Go back down and let's hit the edit button for this little one, the little pencil icon there. And star wise, I want to give it that color I just copied. That's more like it. And I want to make it a lot larger. I really want to make it the size of these ones here. So, what size was this? Let's have a look. Okay, guess it's, it's not going to tell me. It's fine. So we'll say about there, wasn't it? We'll say make it 45. Easier to remember, and that looks fine. Let's go back down, click on this one, and again, we'll make it 45. Good. And a bit of padding at the top of the bottom. Take the lock off because I just want it on top and bottom. I don't want it right and left. 50, that'll do. I may adjust the top one so it's got 50 as well. Projects. Must learn to spell. <laughs> Trouble sometimes when I'm uh, talking, when I'm typing, I get things wrong. Kind of almost like this padding better here. Actually, let's go back and take the padding off that and we'll put it on the actual section itself. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll hit the full width section, little dots in the middle there to edit it. And we'll give it some padding. Again, we'll take the lock off because I don't want it on all sides. 50. 50 at the top, 50 at the bottom. 
Okay, that's fine. Now here's our gallery that we just put in just now. If I click on that, add images. What I've done, I went into Photoshop because these sort of images are all different shapes and sizes. I went into Photoshop and I've just created a few images, 300 by 300 pics. Obviously you can do yours however you want them. So I'm going to drag them in here. I just created six of them. And once you've got them all checked, they're all checked automatically. Create a new gallery. Can caption them if you want to. Uh, well, let's just caption this one and see what happens. Oh. And insert into the gallery. Yeah, it's underneath it. So actually, I don't want that. Um, take that caption away just wanted to see what it would do if you wanted to put captions underneath obviously that's what you do for our purposes I don't want to do that okay and this is the default I've only got six images here and they've given me four columns so let's change that to three columns I want those images to be bigger so let's have a look here's 150 by 150 let's 300 by 300 excellent Pretty much exactly what I want right there. Um, columns, media file, link to. You can have a page if you want to click on this and take it to a page with a project. That's great. You do that. Um, or a media file. Lightbox. I'm going to say Lightbox. And that will, when you click on it, it'll pop it out into a new window to display it just like that. Obviously, they're not big enough to do that, but. That's what that light box does there. Ordering, default ordering is fine. Random or is going to make no difference whatsoever, really. Perhaps it displays them differently each time you do that. Style wise, what do we want to do here? Border type, none. No, I don't want to border on them. Spacing. Okay, let's do some custom spacing and see what we can have. I see. That sort of spread them out throughout that little grid there. Yeah, let's leave them like that. That's fine. Border radius. Um, well, we've got no border anyway, so I'm not even going to bother with that caption. Oh, that's OK. The typography for the caption had we put one underneath like we just did before. But we'll give it a bit of padding at the top again, just to separate it from our heading there. Again, I'll link because I don't want too much going on there. So. But I'm just going to give it at the top because we gave our section some padding down below. So we've got 50 picks padding below and at the top there to keep it fairly symmetrical. And there we have it. We've just added a little project gallery. So let's update this and see what we've actually got here. And hit the little eye icon to preview it. Scroll down to where we were. There we have it. That looks quite nice and clean. And open one of those. It'll pop out into a light box. They're very small images. They're very good, Elementor. You've done it once again. I'm pretty impressed. So that is how you add a little project gallery to your Elementor site. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, have a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look.
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.